be off to going to see the Fitzroy Islands, which is one of the Barrier Reef Islands. It's part of the beginning of it. So it's, there's other sort of different things that you can choose from. There's things called like going on a pontoon, which is kind of like a floating island that's man-made, um, where you can do snorkeling and things like that and see loads of the sea life there. And um, we are going to Fitzroy Island instead because you can walk across the beach, uh, you can go over into like the mountains and you can do a bit of snorkeling. You can get your tickets from many different locations. There's one that's just around the corner or you can just get it directly from like that reef centre. Either way, you've got to make sure that you get the tickets then um, from the reef centre. You'll pay like a $5 levy charge um, when you get there as well. And then you just have to ask them where to go. And this is our boat just arriving now. in a stingray suit. Yep, that's me. And I've got my flippers and my snorkel and I'm about to go out now with Julio over there and we're going to do some snorkeling and see some very interesting fish. Can't wait. You 100 for course pieces of shark in the Great Barrier Reef. In here normally we're going to see if we see one of those sharks we're going to see the reef sharks. Cameras like that, they don't do nothing in the day. Like, they're super lazy, they just basking around. That's the reason why it's called Shark Fin Bay. Alright, so we are suited and booted, ready to go. That doesn't look hard. We could do this. Oh god. Flipper. Oh, the flipper. <laughs> This is what we call a moon jellyfish and moon jellies don't do nothing. One meter and a half, of course, Aboriginal people are not too good to have them. They don't do it anymore in these areas. In other parts in the world they do. <laughs> so this is a solitary coral, okay? This is only one animal. And this is the mouse. Over here, they are called mushroom growth because they, when they are born, they have one foot that links them to the substrate, okay? But then they lose it, so they can be moved around by the current, you see. He's throwing me some goo, as you can see. And they use this goo to protect themselves from the sun, because sometimes these reefs can get exposed, okay? Also, Gungandi people around here, Aboriginal people, use this goo as sunscreen. If you put your hand like that... Ooh. Yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> the boat which was beautiful and saw so many corals which I wasn't expecting. I'm now gonna try paddle boarding which I've never done before so we're gonna give this a go see how we're gonna do. All right so I'm on the board and I'm not how good I'm not very good at this. I'm gonna see this is even worse trying to to film and do this mate. This is total what do you call it? All right, we're just gonna just try and stand. I don't think I can stand. All right, we're gonna try. Come on, got to try it. Hold on. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. Wait, I don't think I can. Can't, I can't double task, so I'm gonna leave you here. You're gonna stay on for a sec, okay? Right. Let's get this on. So let's get out. That would have totally plunked me, wouldn't it? Oh god, that's another beast. Oh my god. Okay, we're standing. Oh shit. No, 
I'm just like crouching because I can't. Oh my god! Shit, man! Fuck! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm standing! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, guys, look! Okay, we're gradually getting there. Apologies for all the swearing. Oh. Alright, I'm just gonna do my own thing now. Look at me! I'm like standing now. I can't literally, I don't think I can barely paddle whilst doing this. But... Right, so I'm just showing you around a little bit. We've got a locker area and we've got a restaurant by here as well, which just overlooks the beach there. And just behind me in that direction, you've got like a little tuck shop. I bought a sandwich and a muffin from there, living the life. <laughs> and um, yeah, genuinely guys, I think Fitzroy Island is absolutely amazing. So you've got everything that you want. You've got snorkeling, you've got um, just a bit of beach time. Um, you've got, you're literally walking on corals. I haven't shown you this part yet, but all of this, all of that, all of it, is just corals. So if I just take you down a little bit. There's so many different options of what you can do as to like which places to go to. Um, there's like the Green Island, um, which is a bit further away than this one. Um, and then you've also got uh, then the Ponta, I can't say it anymore, the Ponta, Pontana, or oh, basically like this float, um, which does stop off here first if you want to do a bit of this first, and then head over to that one then afterwards. Um, but yeah, mate. I would recommend this to anyone, it's really lush. So we're now just leaving, um, we're taking the 4 o'clock ferry and um, it takes about 40 minutes to get back. It's the last ferry today, it's been really really beautiful, had an absolutely amazing time. And the workers here are incredible, they have so much knowledge too which really really helps. Have a nice little evening now. <laughs>